Hey guys, this is Atasia and I'm wearing a nice tank top over pajamas and I comb my hair so you know what time it is. It's sit down Saturday where I rant about everything in life. Welcome. We all have those moments where we feel pathetic, we feel sucky, we feel low, we get depressed. Like there's no meaning to the life we're leading. That life has no purpose anymore. I usually get that feeling when there's no more Oreos left in the supermarket. I know that feel! I know it! My therapy in these situations usually consists of a lot of YouTube watching. And by a lot, I mean a lot. By a lot, I mean suggested videos recommended for you. Check this channel out. Those are my drugs. I am addicted. I cannot stop. It is a problem. Hi, my name is Satasia and I have a problem. So this video is for all of you who probably come to YouTube doing the same thing and are depressed. Or those who are perfectly happy before they started watching my video and now are depressed. Or to my mom who watches my videos. Hi mom, thanks for watching. This video is for you, so let's get started. Whenever you do feel depressed or sad or alone, always remember there are people or things which are doing much worse than you are. And that should give you all the happiness in the world. Number one. At least you're not an advertisement. At least people don't zone out or mute you when you come on. Saw what I did there. And as if the uh, ads on TV weren't bad enough, there are those ads on YouTube which you can skip after five seconds. That must be the worst feeling ever. When you get five seconds to prove yourself and you don't, you're skipped. Imagine having that life. At least people listen to you. At least your voice is heard. I mean, come on, at least you're not an advertisement and that should give you all the happiness in the world. I hope this helped. Number two, at least be thankful that you're not a service provider call or message. So my service provider is IDEA and I get at least two calls a day and at least two messages a day from IDEA. At least, at least people read you or at least people take enough of an interest. You know, some people just block service provider calls. Some people nice and disconnect. And then there's that category of people who pick up and just listen to the operator. I don't know. You may enjoy that. That's great. But at, you know, it's kind of depressing though to think if you were a service provider call or message because that life would kind of suck. I mean, every day you try, you try, you try and just, there's just no reply. I mean, imagine that life. At least you don't have that life. Number three, things on Facebook. It's like Facebook is trying to make the depressed more depressed. First it was that see notification whenever somebody sees your message and then when somebody doesn't reply, constantly looking at that scene notification. And then came that scene notification for posts where you post something, where you put a lot of effort into posting something and it's seen by 12, no comments, no likes. In such a situation, even a K would be appreciated. Please validate the post, please. At least be grateful that you are not one of those messages which are seen without a reply or a post which is just seen but not commented on. Be grateful every day for not being that. Number four, mess food. At least you're not mess food with people complaining about you 24-7 and judging you and constantly finding ways to replace you and making faces at you and throwing you away and... Oh my gosh, that life would suck. Be thankful every day that you are not mess food. And last but not least, number five, moths. And I'll tell you why. I don't know how many of you know about this, but there are certain creatures called moths which come to your room or your house at night and they hover around your f tube plate and they look like they're having the time of their life. They're the happiest creature ever. He was like, they're the, the, they're the happiest thing ever, right? And then you see them the next day morning and they're on the floor and the same is no, because they're dying and within within like the next five minutes, they're dead. What a meaningless life. It's It's... It's one night, of, it's, not even, it's not even a day, it's just one night of your life. You live for one day. That's the only time, oh my, one night. But 
thank God you're not a moth. I mean, at least your life has more meaning than that, than just coming and hovering around the tube light and then dying. At least you've done more than that. Be grateful. So yeah, these were five things that hopefully made you feel better. But honestly, things that will make you feel better are friends, ice cream, family, a good movie, a good TV show, a good book. There are so many things out there we could just go and do. There are so many happier things to be felt. There's no reason to be sitting around and be low or depressed or angry or frustrated because those emotions shouldn't have a place in your life. Because there's so much to do and so many fun things to do, like make YouTube videos. This is so much fun. But yeah, so go ahead, give it a shot, get out there and give it a try because honestly, your life is meant. Your life means something, okay? So go out there and have a blast. And I'll see you guys next Saturday. Which you should actually sit down Saturdays. But I will see you next time. Till then, stay happy. Bye.